So could you tell us about some of the upgrades to the boardwalk area and the main entrance to the pier? Certainly. Uh, we added a new awning, an extended awning to the, uh, to the pier to provide shade and a little bit more comfort for uh, all of our guests. The other thing is we've added high tops uh, for additional seating like we did at the, uh, at the back of the pier. Um, again, we've done a new rail all along there. The, uh, this particular location, the boardwalk uh, bar, we open it up so now when you're sitting having lunch or, or having a drink or something, you can get a pure view of the, of the ocean. Uh, you know, that, again, that's, that's part of our whole focus is to, to make, take advantage of the natural facilities that, that the piers around and uh, we've opened up more of our retail outlets uh, to make it more accessible and uh, uh, customer friendly so people have access and, and really actually know where they're at. Uh, Trader Rick's, uh, which is our uh, shop downstairs, our convenience store, uh, at, the, at the entrance to the pier. Uh, is now offering the key lime pie. It's you can get your beers there. Uh, we've made a number of changes there, and again, it's it's more user friendly uh, for everybody, more accessible. We've made some hours changes uh, because people need refreshments and supplies prior to going to the beach, or maybe prior to going home. And at the uh, beginning of August, I believe you said there will be new, should be uh, renovated bathrooms. Uh, we heard a number of comments about our restrooms uh, from locals. Uh, in general, we we first step we took was to clean those up, and we do that uh, constantly and to maintain a certain cleanliness level, and that's what we're all about. However, uh, by the end of July, we'll have complete new restrooms from top to bottom, uh, new floor, new s walls. Uh, that has been something that that I know. People didn't come here because of uh, the condition of our restrooms. And I think uh, once they see that, they're, what we're going to do, it's going to be a major enhancement to the overall peer success. Uh, some of the new items that we've been uh, working on is we've added additional tables uh, along the pier for added seating for our, uh, our guests, as well as we've done all these changes on our rail, that, which has really made an improvement and we've pretty much done the entire rail of the uh, pier. Uh, in the next few weeks, or upcoming weeks, we're gonna be doing uh, a complete bait shack, which will be uh, renovated and a brand new uh, look for that, that area as you come on. And that'll be benefit to fishermen and, and those people that are coming to uh, visit the actual pier itself. We're here at Sea Dogs. The name is the same as always. Could you tell us about some of the changes to the menu? Well, we now offer Nathan hot dogs. Uh, that's that's a big first big thing. We are uh, offering uh, turkey legs. Uh, this is a quick uh, walk-up uh, snack bar that people can grab and go. Uh, you can grab a cold refreshment here. Uh, and get some shaved ice and, and uh, some other good things. Of course, you always got a, a nice cold ice cream or, or some candy bars. But uh, we've done some things here. We've done some menu changes and some. But uh, this is this is a good place if you want a good old-fashioned hot dog. Can't beat Sea Dogs. So can you tell us about the Cocoa Beach Boil? The Cocoa Beach Boil is fresh. Um, we have snow crab legs, fresh clams, fresh oak sausage. It's just a nice low boil all together in a bucket. Okay. And the grouper sandwich is another popular one, right? Yeah, we're getting in fresh grouper now, and we do a lovely grilled fresh grouper sandwich every day. Or we'll change it to mahi or whatever fresh fish we can get. And I hear you guys have new burgers? Yeah, we have a new pier burger, has a nice fish sauce, a shrimp sauce on top of it. Um, we're going to come up with some new ones as we go and start changing the other menus as well. All right, well, we look forward to all the great food. Thanks.